I have a, a suspicion that I don't I don't think the vast majority of people have ever actually even used AI for like an advanced level. They've used it like inadvertently, but they probably have never used any of these. So I identified four platforms, ChatGBT, Claude, Anthropic, Bart. Um, so I want to get everybody's take on these different um, platforms and how each individual person has used one of these platforms to actually help themselves. I think that that would be beneficial for the audience. It's a great question. Uh, for me, I don't know, I've been nine months or something like that that I've been using chat GPT. I use it for all emails for a while. I was using it for all text replies. Um, I help to filter some of the research that I do that I send my telegram channel for stock club. I do use it to do some like analysis and what the stuff that I was seeing in media, like the destruction of the podcast space, Disney. So I went and took a data set from the early 1800s and compared it through now to see which uh, like radio stations and shows started to collapse as TV came in. So I use it as a tool uh, to analyze, like to see what market trends were going to go. Um, and even on like, you know, scripting ideas, TV show side, like it's been an additional brain, honestly, for me. Like if I look at my tabs and chat GP, I probably have six, 700 tabs um in there so i've used it like an executive assistant that i don't have to talk to and same thing after the madison square garden show like once i start i uh, using the platform and playing with it I, I was like hey i'm sorry but i let 12 people go and chat gpt has been a lot more efficient to those who i lost i had to lose you to become better my apologies <laughs> more efficient <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, I'll talk about uh, Anthropic. I spoke about it a little bit last night, but it, this is yeah. a perfect time. Um, like I said, it's something that can summarize large pieces of data. And so I'll give a prime example of how I'm probably going to use it this week. It's a big earnings week. And so you got Microsoft, Google, Meta, Amazon, all reporting. Rather than going through their 20-page report, I can save that PDF, put it in Anthropic, tell Claude, summarize this for me, and it'll give it to me in 10 seconds in a paragraph. And so now it makes my study and my research and my data collection even more efficient because I can do it in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, and then I get to cross-reference it, right? So especially in last night, I spoke about how I'm investing with it. I get to cross-reference, right? I get to use as many analysts and experts that are in the space that have come to a conclusion. I get to cross-reference what they have against what I'm doing and say, all right, well, we're in the same ballpark or let me see where they got it from. And it, it, it does it really detailed. And I only showed you to summarize, but if I asked it to, or if I prompted it to do more, it could. Um, so I use Claude, I, I use ChatGBT every now and then when, you know, when we have an interview, um, I'll put in uh, the guest's name and I'll say, it I'll, helps. Prompt it, I'll prompt it just to get ideas. Like, oh wait, I never thought about that. Cause it yep. might be a piece of information that I forgot, right? Cause some of these people have a, a vast career and sometimes you might miss a piece of something that happened 15 years ago. And so sometimes it'll give me a fresh reminder of, oh wait, that this, this might have been a critical piece of something that happened or a business venture was spawned from that idea. So I use chat GPT in that way as well. Um, yeah, I use chat GPT every day. As I said before previously, I don't know if you're not using artificial intelligence every day um, and you're a business owner or a creator, I don't know, I'm not sure how I don't know. I don't know how you're how you're functioning. I really don't. I think you're doing yourself a tremendous disservice, and I think you're doing your business a disservice because there's no there's no way that you can function at, a, at an extremely high level in 2023 with not, without implementing artificial intelligence daily. Yeah, that's going to be extremely hard to do. So I, I use it for a variety of different reasons. I use Chat GBT to summarize articles um, on the go. If I want to, if I want to just get the cliff notes, I'll just put the article in there and it'll put it into two paragraphs. I use chat GBT to um, write a lot, a lot of stuff, whether it's captions or whether it's YouTube descriptions or YouTube titles or a variety of different things, you know, give it a variety of different talking points and then say, summarize this. Um, now the thing is it, as I said yesterday, it's like a performance enhancement. You still have to be able to perform though. 
right? Yeah. So you have to be intelligent enough to, to give it something to actually, you know, decipher. And then you also have to be intelligent enough to read it and then change something because it might not be in your, it might not be in your actually tone or you might want to add something. So it does give, provide a great framework though. For questions, for interviews, it, that makes the process a lot easier for sure. Um, you know, a lot of times people send notes about themselves, a bio. So I'll put the bio in chat GBT and say, make 10 questions about this. And then if I don't like it, I'll say, make 10 questions more focused on business or more focused on how they actually got up and running. And then it'll change it. And then it'll create 10 more questions. So definitely use it for almost every interview that we're, you, that we're doing right now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, a variety of different factors, but um spell check little stuff like that you know it's like that was that was a, a that's that's a, that's a job right like an editor yeah an editor is a job that you get paid to edit people's work um there's no really need to have an editor with chat gbt just say correct it little things like that make a big difference right um spell check spell check this check it for grammatical mistakes um <laughs> Things like that. So, yeah, it's um, it's it's something that I think you ha you have to be able to to utilize that. But that's personally how I'm u utilizing it. If you're interested, um, that's personally how I've been utilizing ChatGPT every day. Uh yeah, I utilize a lot of different tools. Uh, there's a tool. It's called Viscom, right? Viscom is a design tool to where uh, I can take, I, I, I had some old sketches and I wanted to make some shoes and it was in probably in my, my phone and my notebook for years. And I have uploaded that sketch and it created a 3d representation of that shoe. Right. Maybe took me about two, three prompts to get it to almost exactly what was in my mind's eye. Right. So it was like, I think years ago I had to hire an industrial designer to try to get somebody to create that same 3D representation in 4K, right? And so it's like, I'll be using tools like that because when I wanna create, you know, um, was like drafts of different products that I want to have done, now I can send this directly to designers. So I'm skipping the whole step out the process, right? Yeah. Whether I'm glasses, whether it's shoes, whether it's clothing, whatever it may be, right? So I usually go to thewarehouse.ai and they have a list of different AIs. Oh yeah, that's a gem. So if you go there, now you have like a directory that you can go through of different AIs. But this Viscom is super key. Um, and you know, it, it's, it's, it's allowing you to create sketch to render. So if you are in design whatsoever, I use it for that. Um, of course, editing, I use opus.ai. Um, but I use multiple ones for for editing, but Opus Day uh, AI have used that recently, um, and that has done really well. If you see the last clip that I had where I, I was at Revolt and I was talking about black women, and that clip went crazy. That was directly from AI. It currently has 350,000 plays um, and 25,000 likes, and AI told me that that was going to be a good viral one, so I listened to it. I tried it out, and they happened to be correct. Right now, I, too, in addition to not to cut yeah. you off, but the combination of, of that scoring, like you talked about yesterday, with the headline makes it way, way easy. You spent yeah. I paid copyrighted three grand for a bundle of headlines and stuff back in the day. Like you, Chad GPT, in terms of return, and like like you said, Opus AI, oh. Get Munch, man, those are some of the best investments I've made this year. It, it, it's definitely been the it's the number one business tool ever created <laughs> ever created in, in the history of humankind right so you got the um so chat gpt and i'll tell you exactly how i use it so if you're using it you gotta have the the, the chat gpt plus because i seen somebody saying chat gpt don't have all those things you said that they do you just don't have the version that i have right yeah I, i'm gonna pay to play each time I'm, I'm never that person that minds paying for a new tool because I always want to see what's the best benefit out of it, right? Um, and this tool is way worth it. If this tool is $1,000 a month, it'd still be worth it, right? ChatGPT Plus. Now, 
On this, they have what you call custom instructions, right? Now, if you go to the custom instructions, it has two tops, um, two boxes. It says, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? So this is when you're going to tell ChatGPT who you are. You can tell it your education level if you want to. You can tell it what your goals are, who you are. So it's responding to you as you, right? So you're now customizing ChatGPT. The second one is going to be, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? Now, I like when ChatGPT responds in bulletin points. I tell it to be neutral in my in your answers, right? I might tell it to give me a report like you're talking to an intelligence agency or James Bond. Give me different frameworks, cross-reference information, right? And make sure that you double check it so that you don't give me incorrect information. And then, of course, I have more things added to that. So, therefore, when you use it, now it's going to say, hey, Mr. Keys, and it's going to directly give me information based on myself, yeah. right? Then I go to the ChatGPT. It's going to have ChatGPT4. It has default mode. It has browse with Bing, which means it can surf the internet, right? Um, Ian talked about some of the greatest use cases, which is your research and research department. So now every business has a research department if you have this tool and you use it correctly. Of course, it has plugins. These plugins can be used for amazing things. You can use it to uh, connect to your Shopify, right? And then it can run programs. I don't have time to teach you everything that it can do, but if you start playing around with these plugins, it gets crazy. You have Dolly E3. Um, Dolly E3 creates images for you. Um, so at one point in time, I know all of these because you got to click to each one and like set it to different modes. At one point in time, they're all going to be one mode. Yeah. And it's just going to be a super tool. So, you know, with Bart or Claude, I upload because they have a greater token rate. Because they say, I think each like three words is like one token. So just to kind of understand what that means. And on Claude, they have way more tokens than you can utilize in ChatGPT, even though ChatGPT just increased it. So that means I can go on there. And I can upload a damn book and it can summarize it for me. Or I can upload a summary or not a summary, but a uh, link to something and it can still read that link. Right now, this is important because it it decreases the amount of time. And this is my biggest thing with AI is that it's all about a wealth transfer to me and a different type of wealth transfer because yeah. we wealth is time, time and resources. And so everybody's been giving these time and resources and I'm going to keep saying it over and over. There's good, there's bad, there's ugly. I like to focus on the good and AI as a good is giving those who have been without these resources of the big boys, even though they probably got even greater AIs now, you now have it in your hands. So go to the warehouse.ai, you know, and I will just go through these tools and I'll put in your $10,000.